So in this video, we're going to set up these textures because funny enough, using my dream UV setup, I can't actually bake these out natively. So make sure you like and subscribe and I'll show you that one later. But at the moment, this is what our ship looks like. I am going to be using the Smartify nodes to kind of create a material setup. So there is a link in the description for that. However, let's start from scratch. So this is my dream UV setup and I've made a few videos on this, talk about it on live stream, so on and so forth, how easy it is. But let's create a custom material. So let's get rid of this material. Let's create a new material. I don't know, create, sure. Let's focus on creating it. So to start off with, we're going to kind of create a base material. And what that is going to be is a mix color into color, please. Thank you. And I do like a bit of a silvery color. I'm going to grab that hex and make sure we paste it into the bottom bit. But with this one here, I'm just going to make it ever so slightly darker. There we go. But I kind of want a little bit of a difference between these two colors. So shift a, let's just add in a bit of a noise texture noise into the factor and scale. I'm going to make 20. Let's do a bit of a color ramp in between these two here. And then hopefully we can just start making a little bit of a difference. There's a little bit of a difference in material. I can especially see him here. I'm okay with that. We could probably go a little bit darker. There we go. Let's keep it at that. So this is here is our base material. Going to bring down the specularity, increase the roughness. But with these results, I am going to put on the specularity into there. If there is a little bit too much for my liking. So let's go into a math node and we're going to divide by two. It looks good. It's just kind of got this ever so slight specularity coming across the ship. However, it's a little bit bland. We're going to use the first lot of Smartify masks. So masks full. Um, let's start off with the edge wear. So I'm going to bring in my edge wear up the top here. It's a bit of a big mask. And as you can see, we've got edge masks and we've got the ambient occlusion. Now the ambient occlusion, I am not going to be using them for this bit. We're going to be focusing just on creating edges. So principle BDSF, I want a metallic finish. Roughness can come down. Let's have a look what that looks like. Very shiny. Good. That's what we kind of wanted. I'm now going to go into a mix shader. Dump that one in there. Dump that one in there. I think we're going to swap these two around. So our main color is on top and our secondary colors on the bottom. From here, edge mask can go into there. Here we don't see much of a change. So here, because we're in cycles, we can probably bring down the pointiness. And I'll do the same for Eevee. Let's bring down the contrast brightness and we'll play around with that just for this i reckon we could probably make this a bit darker and we can really see how these now edges are popping out obviously if you want them to pop out even more we could give extra geometry um you see some of these pieces have actually gone silver and that's because the back faces are so close to the top and that's kind of like all part of the ambient occlusion so let's just make sure that's set to zero one thing I like to do, if you ever just want to see what is actually happening, pick a color like this base color here, and I'm going to make it bright pink. And we can see how it's being influenced across um, a whole bunch of the material. So this is where we can play around with the settings. And it's definitely not that one. And what we're looking for is as much pink on the edges. So we can see that we've got a nice strong pink on the edge. We want to make it a little bit bigger. So just increase the contrast, brightness, bring that down, contrast, we can bring that down. Lots of pink pieces, or bits, sorry, and that's what we're after. Excellent. Now we can come back down to here and we will change this to white. There we go, beautiful. Now let's go ahead and throw some ambient occlusion on. So from here, Shift D to duplicate, Shift D to duplicate. This is going to go into here, and this is going to be kind of like a bit of a brown material, uh, probably about here-ish. I don't want metallic on that one. I want the roughness all the way up. From here, we can go into the ambient occlusion, and that's going to go into there like so. Uh, excuse me, into there, please, and into there, please. Now, once again, we can do what we did before find all the pink so we can see this is where all the dirt color is going to go so we can already quickly play with some of the settings and we can just kind of like reel it in a little bit just focus on the ever small little gaps 
noise. I'm going to increase the noise there, make it a little bit more random. Let's now come into an orange and then it goes into a brown. Awesome. That's pretty good. I reckon we could probably add in a little bit more darkness in all these crevices. Last but not least, the next thing I'm actually going to do, Shift D to duplicate, Shift D to duplicate, click and drag that one. From here, I'm going to add in a leaking mask. And we're going to click and drag and put that one in. And you can kind of see it's everywhere. Now, the thing is, is this is leaking upwards and downwards. I only want down. So I'm going to put set that to zero. And now we can see those streaks really coming through. We can increase that and look at all that. <clears throat> that's, that's nice. I don't think it should be a brown. Well, actually, let's do a pink so we can actually just have a look. Where is it actually being affected? Nice, nice. I think, if anything, this should be a bit of a gray color. Do we go bright or do we go down low? Look at that. Oh, just like, just ever so slight, that grunginess. Mm. And there we have it. We've created a really nice, simple material. Um, with the initial one, there was a lot of reliance on the texture. So that's why there's a lot less si uh, panels. But here we could always come in and go ahead and add more panel in, panels in when I mark out a stroke. Now, if I'm going to show you how to bake these textures, like and subscribe and I'll show you in the next video.